Hello everybody, welcome back to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. That is a loud threat going by right now. If you are new to my channel, my name is Desiree. And in this episode, uh, I will not be editing anything. So beware. Uh, <laughs> you might hear a lot of ums uh, throughout the video. So the reason I have decided to do a non-edited video this time around is because I didn't get a video out last week and I didn't want to skip this week as well. I will not have time to edit this video before Sunday. So uh, you're going to get the non-edited version. So yeah, bear with me here. But uh, anyway, as you can see, it is very rainy today on the homestead, uh, which was a disappointment to me. But uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to get all the stuff done tomorrow that I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't have any indoor projects planned for this weekend. So... Basically, all I'm doing today is relaxing, which is much needed, honestly. It's nice to come up here and actually relax every once in a while. It's like every time I come up here on my homestead, I actually am working the entire time. Like I'm working on something. And it's because I know my time's limited and I have to make the most of it. But the rain has actually forced me to kind of slow down today. So I slept in late. I cuddled with the pups for a while. Um, I'm getting ready to start up a fire after this video. And I'm just going to relax. I'm going to read a book. And yeah, not really do much of anything. <laughs> but tomorrow, tomorrow is when I'm going to start on my project, uh, which... My whole plan for this weekend was just to work on my gravity-fed water system, which is going to be up on top of my mountain right here, which I'm very blessed to have a mountain right next to my tiny home. I don't have to like build a water tower to have a gravity-fed water system like some people do. So I will be hiking up that mountain tomorrow and working on, there's already a barrel up there, but I'm working on doing the connections and stuff for it. So that will not be in this video. Uh, that will be a future video, so be sure to look out for that one, my water gravity fed system. I don't know when the video is going to come out. It'll be whenever I finish this project. So far, I've been working on this project for like on two other trips up here, so who knows how long it's actually going to take me. <laughs> but, uh, and it's starting to rain again. Uh, it's been raining like all day. But anyway, talking about future projects, another project that I want to work on is my dog run over here. So this is my dog run and I know you guys have seen it before, especially if you've been following my channel for a while. And it's kind of just put together, like I kind of just threw it together, which is fine. But what I'm wanting to do is I want to build like a little deck for the dogs and then I want to have a roof over it. And the roof is going to serve multiple purposes. One, It'll shield the dogs from the rain, like if they want to come out, and I'll have the roof extend past the uh, decking so that they can, like, go potty without being totally drenched in the rain. And um, now this, I'm using this, I, uh, what is it called? A gimbal, and I'm still trying to get used to it, like, because it's moving on its own, and it's kind of annoying. But anyway, um, so, yes, multi-purposes for the roof. So, oh, and here comes Dio right now. Hey, buddy. Um, so, the roof will serve to, like, shield them from the rain whenever they want to go potty. But also, the other problem I've been running into when it rains a lot, like, hard, or even not that hard, the rain is actually coming in the doggy door and it's because there's no roofing like over that opening. So rain is like coming in and I'm having to like mop it up. Now when I'm not here, I put the cover on the doggy door and it actually prevents the rain from coming in like that. But when I'm here and it's raining, I have to go and I have to like mop up the water like every few hours or so and it's just kind of annoying. So the roof will serve that purpose as well. It'll keep the rain out of the doggy door area. And I'm wanting to make the roof strong enough so that I can actually get on top of the roof to service my roof further up there. So yeah, 
that's the goal. <laughs> uh, I want to make a nice solid roof that I can actually get on top of. Uh, so we'll see. That That is a future project. I don't know when it's going to get done, but it's definitely on my list of things to do. So let's go on a little walk. There's another area that I want to put some kind of roofing and it's over here. Uh, let's see if we can see it. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking I kind of want to run a roof from like underneath the triangle window and then come out so that my deck is like partially covered. I haven't really decided if I'm going to do that or not, but I definitely, definitely need to figure out something here because where, and bear with me with this gimbal thing. So you see the roof line there? Well, so the water comes down and I could put a gutter system there, but it's got, it's got this weird like L shaped thing to it. And so I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to run some kind of roof out this way as well because down here, down here, which is all covered in plastic, is where my um, tiny house or RV, whatever you want to call it, hookup is for my electricity. And I wanted it to be completely shielded from the rain. So the other option is I could do like some kind of little roof system that comes out here. And that has crossed my mind and I, I may do that. I haven't fully decided yet how I'm going to go about that, but um, these are things I'm considering uh, for future projects, and yeah, so we'll see. But let's go on a little walk. Um, oh, uh, by the way, the electricity, the solar electricity has been doing extremely well, so I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, the last weekend that I was here, I checked it and I was at 100% charge when I arrived, <laughs> unlike the first time that all that happened. And um, if you didn't see that video, the first time my solar power got hooked up, uh, the gentleman that hooked everything up for me didn't turn the breakers back on. So when I arrived late in the night to my tiny house, and I tried to turn on the lights, nothing came on because my batteries were completely drained. So if you missed that video, um, just click up, I think it's up here. <laughs> I never remember what side that little thing's gonna come up on, either here or over here. I think it's up here though. Uh, just click on that, you can see that video. Um, but yes, so uh, ever since then, my batteries have been fully charged and uh, I did not actually see my battery charge dipped below 100% uh, this pa the past weekend that I was here. So I'm curious to see if they dip down any lower this particular weekend because I'm actually running my heating and air system and I did not do that last weekend. Last weekend I only used the wood stove. I was being very cautious of my electricity usage and so I just didn't I didn't really use much of it, but like when I came in last night, I went ahead and I started up my heating system and I just kind of wanted to get the chill out of the tiny house. And I also started a fire. So I had the wood stove going too, and I had um, my heating system going and I had the heating system set at 65 degrees. So once the heat got up, I ended up turning the system off. And I didn't turn it back on again until this morning when I woke up just to kind of get the chill out of the tiny house again. But really the temperature hadn't dropped that much. It only dropped to about like 63 degrees uh, this morning and it was about 53 degrees outside. So the tiny house tends to keep about 10 degrees above outdoor uh, temperatures uh, if I'm not running some kind of heating. So um now that is assuming, I guess after some time goes by, it would eventually drop down to the outdoor temperatures. But if I ran the heat the night before, like whether it was the fire or the furnace, um, 
then usually it will maintain 10 degrees above outdoor temperatures, at least for the first 24 hours that I am aware of. So, um, but yeah, I have the furnace on right now just to kind of keep it at 65, but it hasn't really been kicking on. And uh, I do plan on starting up a fire soon because it's getting more into the evening and it's getting chillier and it's definitely wet. <laughs> it's like wet and cold and miserable right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, my bridge is still doing well, which is what I'm about to walk over right now. So I'm glad it is still here. There weren't any more floods to wash it away. Uh, let's see if you can even see it. Still trying to get used to this gimbal, y'all. I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah, there's the bridge. Okay. <laughs> ah, all right. So I didn't want this to be a super long video, so I'll, I'll be ending it shortly. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know, I did talk with a guy about a fence, and hopefully he'll be putting that in with the, within the next month. Um, he hasn't actually gotten back with me about a quote yet, which is disappointing, but at the same time, I also don't want to rush him <laughs> because I'm not in a super hurry. And, uh, you know, if I have to wait a little bit longer to get the fence, that's fine with me. Um, it also gives me more time to pay him. So, uh, but yeah, so the pasture that I'm walking in right now is the one that is going to have the fence. And... I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of where the fence is going to be. So that's the main road up there um, that comes through. And I'm going to have the fence run along the road, like all the way from up there where that building is, all the way down, all the way around my old barn there. And then where my driveway is, is where it's going to stop. And then it's going to follow up. It's going to follow that tree line there pretty much. And then go all the way out to my driveway um, on the other side of the barn there. So it ends up being about an acre and a half that I'll be fencing in. And, uh, I am going to let my neighbor's horse graze over here until I can get my horse here. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like the fields should go to waste and, um, they have been so good to me. I would like to return the favor in some kind of fashion. So they've helped me out with so many things and they look out for my property. So, um, they, uh, they only have one horse. And the pasture they have is all on a hill. And so it's really hard to get the grass to grow proper because of the water doesn't really stay. It kind of just drains down the hill. So the grass doesn't get watered as well as it should. And with a horse eating it, it, it goes pretty quick. So um, it'll be a huge help to them uh, to let their horse graze in this pasture. Because, I mean, it is like super green and ready to go. Uh, so yeah, that is my plan. Um, I, I did mention it to them and they said that that sounded great. So yeah, uh, you know, I guess that's it for this video. I kind of just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'm working on, future plans of what I will be working on and, uh, showing you what I do on a rainy day here on the homestead. <laughs> uh, if I, if I lived here and it was raining, it probably wouldn't stop me from doing stuff outside because when you have, uh, animals, livestock, poultry, whatever, um, whatever I plan on having on the homestead, it doesn't matter if it's raining or snowing or sleeting or hot, you still have to come out and take care of the animals. But since I don't have any animals on the homestead right now, I'm just going to stay nice and cozy in my tiny house, get the fire going, um, have some hot tea, read my book, and cozy up with my puppies. So that is my plan. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, neighbors wave around here, by the way, when they drive by. <laughs> 
He just honked and I waved. Uh, anyway, um, I don't, th I don't think I have anything else to, s to say right now. If you guys have any questions for me, I've been meaning to say this for the longest time. Let me know in the comments below any questions, any questions at all you have about um, what I'm doing here on the homestead or, you know, things that have come to mind or suggestions or anything that you want to say, please, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, any questions that you ask, I will either, I will probably go ahead and answer it in the comment section, but I may also answer some of your questions in a future episode as well. Uh, or I won't answer in the comments and I'll just make you watch my episode. <laughs> But yeah, any questions you have, just um, let me know in the comment section below. And um, if it's a question that I think I'll answer on a future episode, I'll probably just put in the comment, check out, you know, the episode that's coming out in such and such week or whatever. Uh, so yeah, send me, send me your questions. I want to hear uh, what's on your mind, what you're thinking about, and anything you want to ask me. And... That is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry, it's kind of like all over the place, just kind of me walking and rambling. And uh, yeah, but I figured I wanted to get a video out to you guys. And so here it is. So uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And that's it.